Hi yogis, welcome to Yoga at Home with Melissa. I'm really happy that you joined me today. In this session, we're going to work on Buddha squats, Buddha burpees, frog squats, and frog hip openers. So as always, you do what feels good in your body, skip what doesn't work for you, and just try to have some fun. So we'll begin in child's pose. Come on to your mat, knees as wide as the mat, toes touch, pressing back into your heels, gently resting the forehead on the mat, arms heavy in front of you. Begin with a deep inhale through your nose and a sigh. And then start to come into your Ujjayi breathing so lips are closed. Inhaling and exhaling deeply through your nose, loud enough that you can hear your breath. If it feels good, you could do that gentle rock with your head and left to right. And then beginning to pull the belly button up and in towards the spine, press your hips back and begin to reach your arms forward. Elbows off the mat, spread the fingers wide and roll up hands and knees. Press back, downward facing dog. And just take a moment to start to warm up here. Pedaling your heels, taking your dog for a walk. Maybe you shake your head out, yes and no. Rise to the balls of your feet, rock your body forward, high push, push up, press forward so you get a deep stretch through your wrists, exhale, press back, down dog. Bringing your feet together to touch, lift the right leg, bend the knee, peel it open. You could circle your ankle and spread your toes if that felt good. And then return that foot to the mat. We'll re lift the left leg. Bend it, reach the kneecap to the ceiling as you circle the ankles, spread the toes. And then return that foot to the mat. Rise up to the balls of the feet and bend your knees. Take a moment to stretch your toes and then look at the space between your hands. Step, walk, or hop to the front of your mat. Bring your feet together to touch and stand. And then today, the right hand's going to grab the left wrist. You're going to root down into your feet and reach up, and then go over to the right side. Take a deep inhale here. And on the exhale, come back to center and switch sides. Left hand, right, right wrist. Root down and reach up, and then go over to the left. Deep inhale. Exhale, back to center. Release your hands and then interlace them behind your back. Knuckles reach to the heels. Gaze and heart up to the ceiling as you gently bend back, deep inhale. Exhale, slowly fold forward, long spine, nose to your knees. Arms over your head, knees can be bent a little or a lot. Shake out your head. Hands to the mat. Halfway lift, and then gently step back, high to low push up, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Then a breath or two here once again as you take your dog for a walk, shaking out your head. Rise to the balls of your feet, bend your knees. Step, walk, or float to the front of the mat. Inhale, rise. Hands touch overhead, bend back. Come to center in swan dive, nose to knees. Halfway lift, hands on the mat. And then today, I'd like you to widen your feet as wide as the mat. So the outside edges of the feet line up with the outside edges of your mat. And then squat down. Right, so your thighs are as parallel to the mat as you can get. 
and then you're gonna bring your arms at your sides behind you, pressing the palms of the hands up to the ceiling. Really root down into your feet, and then inhale, rise up, bend back, open your hands, open your heart. And as you exhale, you squat again, hands press up to the ceiling. We're gonna flow like this for a few breaths. Inhale, rise and go back. Exhale, squat. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Three more, inhale, exhale. Two more, exhale. Last one, go way back. Exhale, pause. Interlace the hands behind the back and fold forward. Drop your head. Shake your tail feathers. Breathing here. And then release. Hands to the mat. And then this time you're going to bring your heels in slightly and your toes out. And then you're going to squat down into our first Buddha squat. Now, if the heels are off the mat, it's not a big deal. You can widen the feet a little bit, and sometimes that helps. And you'll notice as your body starts to open up and your hips begin to open up, you'll be able to get those heels a little closer to the mat, but it's no worries. Rooting down into your feet, lift your heart, breathe here. And then I ask that you place your hands on the mat in front of you, fold forward, straighten your legs. Shake your tail, shake your head, and then squat back down into that Buddha squat, hands to your heart. This is gonna be our flow. Inhaling, folding, exhale, squat. Here we go. That's one, two, three, four, Five, six, pause, root down. Notice if the hips are a little more open now and you can sink a little bit deeper effortlessly. Again, we're gonna root down into our feet and we're gonna rise up, reaching the fingertips up to the ceiling and then go over to the right side. Come back to center, squat. Press down to rise up and go over to the left, center, squat. This is our next flow. Inhale, rise. Over to the right, center, squat. Rise up to the left, center, squat. Up and over, center, squat. Up and over, center, squat. Up and over, center, squat. Keep going, up and over, center, squat. Up and over, center, squat. Up and over, center, squat. Keep going, a couple more. To the right, center, squat. Up to the left, center, squat. Two more, up to the right, center, squat. Up to the left, Center, squat, last one, rise up, go deep. Center, squat, up and over. Center, squat, hands to the mat, fold forward. Toes point straight ahead so your feet are parallel. Your knees can be bent a little or a lot. Ragdoll arms, opposite hand, opposite elbow. Drop your head, relax. You could find a little sway here if you'd like, side to side. Hear the Ujjayi breathing. And then I'd like you to sway over to the right, begin to stand, reach the elbows up to the ceiling and come back down. That's one. Two, one more on this side, three, pause. Gentle sway side to side. Same thing, three times to the left. Bring it up, 
Exhale, drop it. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, last one. Excellent job. Release your hands to the mat. And then we're going to once again bring the heels in and the toes out. And you're going to drop down into that Buddha squat. And then notice, I'm sure that you're all sinking a little deeper by this point as you start to really open up through the hips. Our next little flow is going to be uh, that duck walk. Right? So you bring your arms up, kind of like go post arms, and you lift your hips a little bit higher. And then you just duck walk in a circle. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on. Excellent. One more time, opposite direction. Excellent. Fold forward, hands to the mat, straighten your legs. Halfway lift, deep inhale. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back, chaturanga, high push up to low push up. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a moment here, pedal it out. Bring your feet together to touch, lift the right leg. Step the right foot between your hands and drop the left knee to the mat. Inhale, rise up and go back. Opening your heart, opening your hands. And then today we're going to make big arm circles, right? So that's one, two, three, four. And that's it. Frame the front foot, glue your nose to your knees, you straighten your legs and fold. Step the left foot forward next to the right. Stand, hands touch, bend back. Come to center in swan dive, nose to knees. Halfway lift, step it back. High to low push up, up dog and down dog. This time left leg lifts. Step that foot between your hands, drop your back knee to the mat. Inhale, rise up, go back. Arm circles, that's one, two, three, four. Frame the front foot, straighten the leg and fold. Step the right foot forward next to the left. Inhale, rise, hands touch overhead, bend back. Come to center in swan dive, nose to knees. Halfway lift. Buddha squat again, so widen your feet as wide as the mat, heels in, toes out, squat down, hands to your heart. Calm breathing, stay connected here. So our next flow will be those Buddha burpees. You place your right hand on the mat and your left hand on the mat. Lift your hips up slightly and step the right foot back and the left foot back. High lunge. And then you step the right foot forward, left foot forward. You stand. Right hand up to your right hip, left hand to your left hip. That's one. Squat down. Right hand, left hand, right foot steps, left foot steps. Right foot forward, left foot forward. Stand, right hand, left hand. Here we go, I'm gonna count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Couple more, yes you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Down dog. Take a moment and walk it out. Buddha burpees right into our frog squats. So your fingers are spread wide, you're rooted into your hands. Bring your toes together to touch and then squat down, right? So that the knees are out, just like a little frog. And then inhale, propel your body forward. Exhale, press back, frog squat. Here we go. One, with breath, two, three, as you can, four, forward. Drop your knees to the mat. Come on down to your forearms. You can keep the knees on the mat, otherwise you straighten the legs coming right into your low planks. Lengthening the tailbone. Take an inhale and a sigh. Whew. Yes, you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Drop your hips, flatten your feet. Inhale. Excellent. Two more. Come on up. Don't even think about it. Breathe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the hips, flatten the feet, look up, take a deep inhale. One more time. Let's go. Press the heels back, but pull the shoulders forward. Pull the belly in. You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop it. Excellent job. Deep inhale. Exhale, relax. One ear to the mat, arms long, palms up. Another sigh, deep inhale. Pick up a shoulder and roll it down your back. Pick up the opposite shoulder, roll that down your back. And then go ahead, turn the other ear to the mat. Close your eyes. Sometimes it feels good to pick both shoulders up and roll them down the back. You decide. Reconnect, Ujjayi breathing. Calm, steady. Allowing the breath to ground us, to soften us. And then when you're ready, just turn your chin to face the mat. Turn the palms of your hands down to face the mat. And you can explore how it feels in your body. You can keep the legs spread wider, or you could bring the toes together to touch, pressing the toenails down into the mat. Start to lift the head, neck, and shoulders up off of the mat. If the low back feels sensitive, please keep the thighs on the mat. Otherwise, lift them up. Lifting the arms up, rolling the shoulders down the back. And then again, keeping with the flow theme, we're going to swim today. So swim your arms forward, thumbs up, pinkies down, getting really long. Exhale, swim back. Here we go. Inhale, front. Exhale, back. Inhale, exhale. This is three. 
Keep going forward. Once you know what you're doing, turn your gaze down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Interlace the hands behind your back. Knuckles point to the wall behind you. Lift the body as high as you can. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, relax. Drop everything down to the mat. Bend your knees and start to windshield wiper your legs side to side. And then let the legs go long on the mat. Chin to the mat. Hands next to your shoulders. And you're slowly going to roll up. So lift the chest, the belly, the hips, the thighs, everything off the mat. Press the belly button forward and gaze up. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, curl the toes, press back, downward facing dog. Whatever feels good in your body here, walking it out, shaking it out. Maybe you walk the feet a little closer and flatten the heels down into the mat. You decide. And then when you're ready, just come on down to your knees, cross your ankles, and find a seat in the center of your mat. Sitting up as tall as you can. Feet are hip width distance. Hands are shoulder width distance. And you just slowly, one vertebrae at a time, start to unroll. Until you're flat on the mat. If there's something in your hair, please take it out just so you can be really free here and relaxed. Arms long at your sides, palms turn up. Close your eyes, close your lips. Take a deep inhale through your nose, fill your lungs and hold your breath at the top. Hold it. Let it go out of your mouth. Any adjustments you need to make. And then again, eyes and lips stay closed. I ask you to inhale as I count through your nose. Inhale for one, two, three, four, five. Pause, hold your breath. Slowly exhale, five, four, three, two, Continue this on your own. Stay connected to this stillness that you just created using your breath. You can keep your eyes closed or you can open them. Set up bridge pose, bend your knees, plant your feet on the mat. Your longest finger can just touch the backs of your heels, but if that doesn't feel good in your body, feel free to stay there. Pressing down into your feet, slowly lift your hips and roll up one vertebrae at a time. You can keep your arms long at the mat or interlace the fingers. Press down, root down into your feet and lift your hips, breathe in here. Press down into your feet, lift the hips a little bit higher. If the hands are interlaced, release them. And start at the very top of your spine, slowly, gently unroll. Okay. 
And again, keeping with the flow of the class, we're gonna do hip lifts. So press down into your feet and lift your hips as high as you can, squeeze your glutes, and then lower hips to the mat. Lift and lower, lift and lower, four, five, make sure you're breathing, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, keep going, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, almost there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, hold the hips high. If you would like to interlace the fingers, please do. If it feels good to lift the heels, go for it. Otherwise, you just keep them on the mat. If you'd like to lift the right leg, point the toes to the ceiling, feel free. We're breathing here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it if it's up. Maybe the left leg lifts, maybe not. Everybody lift the hips high. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it if it's up. Press down, lift up, take a deep inhale. Release the hands. Start at the very top of your spine, slowly lateral. If the heels are lifted, they are the last to land. When you hit the mat, you have options, right? You can widen the feet as wide as the mat and bring the knees together. Or you come into your Supta Baddha Konasana, Right, where the soles of the feet come together to touch and the knees open wide. One hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Close your eyes. Take a deep inhale and a loud sigh. Return to that calm, deep ujjayi breathing. If it helps you to stay focused, do that count. Inhale and exhale for count. If you have a personal mantra that you'd like to introduce into your practice now, feel free to go ahead and do that. My mantra suggestion for today's class is I feel grounded, confident, and supported. I feel grounded, confident and supported. I feel confident. I feel grounded, confident and supported. and then hug them into your chest. And you can rock side to side, make little circles, one direction and the other. And then drop your feet to the mat. And for our additional core work today, we're gonna to do a straddle stretch. So you bring your arms over your head and interlace your fingers. And then you straighten your legs, press your heels up to the ceiling. 
and then you're gonna straddle your legs as wide as, wide as you'd like, and then you're gonna roll up, reach the knuckles to the wall you're facing, and then you reach back over your head and close your legs. So that's it, here we go. One, with breath, two, three, four, keep the legs active, press the heels away from you, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and going, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, stay up, reach the knuckles forward, press the heels away from you, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, excellent, hug your knees into your chest, and rock left, right, make those middle circles. And then we'll do a full body stretch. So reach your arms over your head, straighten your legs, point your toes away from you. Take a deep inhale to lengthen. Exhale, just relax. Uh, do it again. Inhale, get long. And then hug your knees into your chest. And today we're gonna rock and roll a couple times and come on up to a seat. And from here, I'd like you to come long ways on your mat, coming into a really wide kneed child's pose. So you bring your toes together to touch. You bring your toes together to touch. And you press your hips back onto your heels. And then I'd like you to just rest on your forearms here. Mm -hmm. And then see if you can bring your knees a little bit wider. And then begin to turn your toes out. So you can look back on your body and see if your ankles and your knees are in one line. The toes are pointing out. And then you lift up a little bit so the spine is parallel to the mat. If you can bring the knees a little wider, please do. If you can walk the elbows back a little closer to your hips, please do. And you'll know that you're doing this frog pose properly when the sensation gets super intense. So once you reach that place where it's like, uh, you know you're doing it right. Let's take a deep inhale through your nose and a loud sigh. Close your eyes here. Return to that calm, deep Ujjayi breathing, allowing the breath to soften you, to allow your muscles to surrender. Perhaps you return to that mantra. I feel grounded, confident, and supported. I feel grounded as my roots run deep into the earth. I feel confident that my heart and soul know the way. I feel supported by the infinite wisdom of the universe. I feel grounded, confident, and supported. Remember, the pose doesn't truly begin working until you want to come out of it, right? So the minute you think you can't take another second, see if you can breathe deeper, see if you can soften a little more. Not much longer. So there's no real graceful way to come out of this frog pose. You could bring your feet together. You could bring your knees closer. You could press back or press forward. Just really slowly come on out. Find your way into a seat in the center of your mat. Bring your legs long in front of you. You can bounce them up and down, sitting up tall. 
Reach your arms up to the ceiling. Look up. Deep inhale. Exhale, fold forward and grab what you can. And maybe you can scooch your hips back a little bit. Pull your belly in. Start to reach the forehead to the toes with a deep inhale. Exhale, soften, drop the belly, drop the chest. Do it again. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to soften. One more. Inhale, get long. Exhale, relax and just hold here. And slowly release your feet, sit up tall. You bring your hands just a few inches beyond your hips, fingers point toward your toes, and then bend your knees, plant your feet hip width distance on the mat. We're going to come into our tabletop, so lift the hips up as high as you can. And today we're going to, well, check out your neck here. If your neck is sensitive, keep the head up, otherwise drop the head. Lift the hips a little bit higher, and then we're going to pulse the knees towards each other, just nice and gently, for one, two, three, four, five. Lift the hips, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Drop the hips to the mat. Legs are long, toes touch and point. Sit on your fingertips, setting up your fish pose. Roll back onto your elbows. Again, if the neck is sensitive, you keep the head lifted. Otherwise, you drop it opening up through the neck, opening up through the heart, lion's breath, take a deep inhale, stick out your tongue, do it again, inhale, last one, inhale, excellent, release your elbows, lay flat down on your back, bring your arms out like a T, Bend your knees, plant your feet on the mat. So today we're gonna to do this spinal twist by picking up your shins. So your shins and your toes are parallel. And then you're gonna slowly bring your knees over to the right, but you're not gonna land. You're gonna allow them to hover just an inch or two off the mat. And if it feels okay in your body, you can turn your gaze to the left Calm breathing here. And then gently bring the knees back to center. And then you're going to bring them over to the left, allowing them to hover, turning the gaze to the right. Keep breathing. Come back to center. And we'll do it again. Gaze to the left. Knees hover an inch or two off the mat. Feet stay flexed, back to center, and then over to the left, gaze to the right, hovering, breathing. Come back to center, and then this will be our last time. So bring the knees over to the right, and this time just allow them to land. Gaze is to the left, close your eyes. Reconnect to the Ujjayi breathe. And then if it feels good, turn the palms of the hands up to face the ceiling and start to lift the left arm up and over. Maybe the hands touch. And then you just gracefully glide the left fingers across the chest, opening up. Bring the legs back to center. We switch sides, knees drop to the left. Gaze turns to the right, calm breathing. When you're ready, reach the right arm up and over, hands touch. And then just beautifully glide the arm back, opening up. Come back to center. 
hug your knees into your chest, rock left to right. Make those little circles with your knees, one direction, one the other. And then squeeze yourself into a tight little ball. Think of one thing, just one thing that you're grateful for in this moment. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. So take your time to get really comfortable here, whatever you need to do. If you have an eye towel or an eye pillow, go ahead, cover your eyes. If you want to grab a blanket and cover your body so that you're nice and cozy, feel free to go ahead and do that. You can rock your head left to right, wiggle your feet, your hips. And then as you begin to settle in, close your eyes. Releasing the ujjayi breathing. If the mind begins to wander while you're here, you can repeat your mantra. We'll begin with a deep inhale through your nose, filling your lungs and holding your breath at the top. go. shoulders and your ankle bones relax, your ribs and your lungs expand, your heart high and very spacious. All of the muscles in your back relax, biceps, triceps, elbows, forearms, wrists, all ten fingers, those little bones in your hands, even your fingernails.
just for now, without asking how, let yourself sink into stillness. Just for now, lay down the weight you so patiently bear upon your shoulders. Feel the earth receive you and the infinite expanse of the sky grow even wider as your awareness reaches up to meet it. Just for now, allow a wave of breath to enliven your experience. Breathe out whatever blocks you from the truth. Just for now, be boundless and free with awakened energy flowing through you. Drink in the possibility of being who and what you really are. So fully alive that the world looks different, newly born and vibrant, just for now. When you are ready, you can gently start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. If it feels good, you reach your arms overhead, stretching out. You could hug your knees into your chest and roll over to your side. When you feel ready, just really slowly and gently come on up to your seat. Bring your hands to your heart. We'll seal this session with one OM. Just take an inhale. Uh, bring your thumbs to your forehead. The light and truth in me honors the light and truth in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like the class, don't forget to subscribe. If you have comments, suggestions, I'd appreciate you leaving them in the comments section underneath the video. I'll see you next week. Namaste.